The barrel design, interestingly, came obviously directly from the architects. Um, it was based on my sort of history of being in the wine business and it reflects a, a French barrique or foudre, a, line, a large wine barrel. Uh, and some people have commented that it sort of looks like an upturned wine glass. But I suppose with the wood and the, um, and the general structure is supposed to sort of mimic that, that wine barrel. We've had all sorts of people saying all sorts of things, um, like it reminds them the inside of a, a, a whale's carcass, um, the inside of a ship being built. So uh, I think it's up to everyone to make their own minds up as what it means to them. The high point of the project, um, it's a difficult one because we had, uh, I'd like to think we had a few high points. I suppose for me, watching the entirety of the CLT, the cross laminated timber structure going up, um, these glue lam arches were the first thing to go up. And I think once the whole structure appeared to come out of the ground, I think that was probably certainly one of the high points for me. It's, uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, because of the way that we did this build, we didn't have a main contractor, so we were working directly with subcontractors. Um, and as an individual, uh, or a team of individuals doing that, sometimes those subcontractors let you down. And uh, fortunately, most of the time we had a very good experience and we had a great team of subcontractors that we worked with. There was the odd occasion when we had difficulties um, and you live and you learn and you move on, but nothing that um, really put a sour, sour face on the project. Some of the pitfalls, some of the things to look out for if you're doing your own um, self-build, it does sound a little bit boring, but I think I'd have to say it's about organisation, like most things in life. Um, and I'd like to think that we got very organised. There was a lot of stuff that we had to do with this build where we had to design as we went along, which we were sort of clued into and we knew we were going to have to do that. Um, I think I would toe the line and say to people that you need to get as much design work done up front as you can. Um, and you do have to be really very organised and very on top of everything, otherwise you can get yourself into a muddle.